Have you ever put on a pair of shoes that were uncomfortable? I hate it when they're too tight, they're too narrow. Mm, that hurts me. Here's your answer. The pair of the two-way wooden shoe stretchers with, I love this word, relief pods. I just dropped my mic, hang on, here we are. Cindy Matthews is joining me. Cindy, get out here, girl. I also have my mouth. All right, here we are, it's live. <laughs> now we're ready. <laughs> Cindy is an apparel expert, a shoe expert. Mm -hmm. She and I have some, you and I have some really long discussions about shoes and feet. <laughs> it's kind do. of strange, but I own these and I don't know what I would do without them now. This really is a game changer. And if, let's face it, all of our feet are different. Even your own two feet can be different from each other. And that's where the shoe stretchers come in because you can customize your shoes both with the length and the width. And then we even get better than that. With those pressure relieving pods, you get eight pressure relieving pods. Here they are. That you can put a variety of shapes and sizes. They look a little weird like this. But, <laughs> but they work so come with me. So whether a corn, a callus. You see, that's that custom business. So crucial because for once you could say goodbye to the pinching, the uncomfortable aspects of your shoes. We've all bought those shoes. Maybe they were a great sale price. You couldn't resist. They're so cute and you really wanted them to fit, but you get home, you walk about four steps and you realize that's not quite the best fit for your foot. Or like me, I love the pointy toe shoes. I love them. They're back in style now. I think they're so yeah. sleek. They're elongating for your leg, but this is not the shape of my foot. Is this the shape of your foot? No, it's totally I, I've never unnatural. seen a foot exactly it's shaped totally like unnatural. these pointy-toed heels. Okay. But They're that's cute. where these come in so handy because take a look at what I've done with this. I like to use this and widen them just a bit right here at the toe to give myself just a little bit more room to make it nice and comfortable. You get two ways, the length and the width, and it's so easy to do. Plus the comfort pods, which to me is like the bunion relief, right? Yes. This is where... It, that we get to use a commercial application at home. This is like the cobbler's secret weapon right here, right? Have you ever taken a pair of shoes to have them be stretched at a cobbler's? Have you ever tried that spray business on your shoe to see if it would stretch? Here's what you do. You get these at home and basically you're using that commercial product in your own home, on demand. Oh, they're not gonna get overstretched because you're watching over them. And oh, they're not stretched enough, guess what? You get to adjust it without having to run an errand and go back and take the shoes and pay every single time. This is a price break. $24.95, usually around $30. To me, they're priceless. We have women's two sizes and we have men's. So if your husband has ever come home and said, honey, I need new shoes. Because, well, what, those look really nice. You just got those. Yeah, but my big toe, ooh, it's killing me. Well, of course, we want everyone to be comfy and happy. How about this? Adjust the size. Would you take us through how exactly this works? Absolutely, because it's so simple. It's not magic. But I will tell it's you, a great patience idea, is a virtue when you do this. Yes. So take the shoe for an example. It's a heel. So what you do is what, with your shoe stretcher, you're going to put it at the smallest point. So you can easily slide it into the shoe. Okay. And then you have two adjustments here. The knob is for the length. So I'm just gonna start turning it's like it. like a dial, We're gonna right? start dialing that. Like a volume so, and it dial. goes really easily at first. So it's just gonna meet the length of the shoe as it is now, but then you're gonna start to feel it slow down a little bit. That's as you're entering that stretch zone. So in that stretch zone, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another couple of, of turns. But don't go crazy. Exactly, just do a couple and then you're gonna let them sit. Let them sit overnight. Let them sit for eight hours, 12 hours. Give them a little time to adjust, then try them on. If you're still needing a little bit more room, slip the shoe stretcher right back in, go back to that stretch zone, give it another turn or two. If you need to do any widening, you're gonna use this crank at the back. And same thing, you're gonna find that stretch zone as you turn it, and then once you hit that point, just give it one or two more, and you can start to see that spreading right there down the middle, giving you that extra Sweet relief. relief. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. And then same thing, just let them sit. So you wanna do this, take your time with it so you can get the perfect fit for you. Because the one thing is you can't shrink them back. If right. you stretch them too much, really you can't shrink work. it back. So you wanted to get that perfect fit for your shoe, for your foot, so you can be comfortable all day long. And it's right to tighten left to loosen, right? Just like with our hoses and our well, Right, when you turn it to the right, it's gonna lengthen. Right. Okay, so see, it's a, it's a here, little different dynamic here. My Absolutely. Shoe, for now, me. see, with this one, you I can see we already have it already. widening. Yeah. So we're going to close it up again so we can fit These it are in your shoe. just back in stock. You've been requesting them. Actually, we have too. We've been waiting for them to come back these, in. These are so great. 
And See, so that's going to get wonderful. that Oops. ring finger toe. Right? Exactly. That, one. that one, which is so important. It's all those little spots that you can finally address. And you can use these over and over again <sighs> versus going to Look your cobbler that. where you have to, you know, well, take. Or throwing a pair of shoes out. Exactly. Or saying, oh, rats, I bought those. They're so cute. Isn't it funny? You'll end and up going through. And they don't feel good anymore. And exactly. I just wore them one day. <laughs> and and then that's not what oh, we want. We're going to break them in. We what, want you to your love foot? your shoes. Don't you want to break them in with this instead? So for under $25, what if you get to actually fall back in love with a pair of shoes that you liked, then wanted to break up with, and now you want to have that long-term relationship actually work out? You use these. Exactly. And see, with this, we, I took it right to the stretch zone to give Thank it you. just a little bit of stretching and then just a little bit more room in the length. So you let this sit. You're a good Overnight, friend. Overnight, yes. and then you test it again because you want that perfect fit. You deserve a perfect custom fit for you. And that's the best part of this. You can do this for your kids. You have that pair of soccer cleats. We have one of those examples right over there where it's getting toward the end of the season and suddenly your child's saying, oh, this is getting a little too tight. Guess what? You can stretch it. Get them through the end of that season. Buy the new shoes for the next new season. You know you're, they're going to need a new pair the next year. Well, the other thing is, okay, you and I talk shoes all the time. Right. You buy a pair of shoes. They're so cute. You wear them. Uh-oh. Two minutes, two hours in, they're hurting your feet. Okay, you've already worn them. You can't return them. That's what we're talking about. You use these shoe stretchers to take those on and for you to be able to keep what you already bought. And you bought them because you like them. Now you have to use them and wear them so you don't feel like, wow, I can't even wear those cute shoes. They hurt my feet so much. That's the answer here. You're not, we've talked about it. You're not going back and forth to the cobbler. You're not having to, oh, that's not a custom fit. Go back again. Spending how much? Who knows? And I love a good cobbler. Don't get me wrong. But how about doing this at home for $24.95? That's on a price break. Men's shoes, absolutely. We've got that in the men's size. We have it in the women's sizes. That's 5 through 9 or 9 through 14. Now, when you buy socks, it's like 9 through 11. Well, this takes you all the way up to women's size 14. So if you buy shoes in specialty catalogs, if you're scouring all the sites and everything for that size 13 and a half or that size 14, right. those are so, that's the 9 through 14 for the for Right, the right. If you can use if you are a for woman the who wears a larger yeah. size. So yeah. maybe you wear a 12 or 13. Get the men's, and that will give you that, that lengthening you Always need. Thinking, we have something Cindy. to cover for everybody. So with that smaller women's size, you can use that for the kids' shoes because a woman's size five is a children's size three so that's where you're going to get those stretching and if you happen to be a lady who's above a size 11 you then you can men's. use that men's shoe stretcher Perfect. check this out even your sandals as we head into those warmer months on these sandals you're not going to get a lot of length on this kind of style but you're going to get some nice relief mm. from the width of those straps if that's what's been causing problems if that's a part that's rubbing and bothering your toes when you're wearing them all day long this can give you the relief you need we deserve to be comfortable you don't have to cram your shoes into the or your feet into the shoes anymore. Make the shoes fit your feet. Individually, left to right, it's nice you get a pair of shoe stretchers, but they're interchangeable. You can use them in the left shoe or okay. the right shoe. Are your so, feet the same size? Personal question. Um, they're the act Technically, shoe size they are, but they do wear a little bit differently. I stretch the left one a little bit. My left foot is bigger than my right foot. Yeah. Isn't that funny? A lot of us but have that. It makes right? a big difference. I was buying all my Custom. athletic shoes a half size too small and it was actually causing damage to my toes, to my toenails. And I didn't want to go out and buy new hiking boots and running shoes and walking shoes and all of that. Instead, I got the shoe stretchers and I just lengthened them, got that extra half size in the length and I didn't have to buy new shoes until I actually wore them out which is what we want to do. You want to get the most for your money. For the cost of the shoe stretchers, you can use these over and over and over again. They're built to last with all of the adjustability you could need. You can get a half size in the length, the same in the width, and eight pressure relieving pods so you can truly customize that customize fit. Customize your fit. So if you have, like I used to, scour catalogs, remember that back in the day, uh, your websites, going to store after store after store, finding that, pair of shoes that finally fit. Let's say you do have a size that's a little bit like in between half mm -hmm. sizes. This is the way you get your fit to really, sorry about the bottom of my shoe, but that's real, um, <laughs> to really actually work for you instead of against you. So if you have shoes in your closet right now, and we all do, that I can't bear the thought of being without these. I haven't worn them that much. It's just, why would I, 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 can't, I can't give them up. But they don't fit or they hurt get these. I'm telling you, they are a brilliant, brilliant idea. That's why cobblers have used them for so long. Doesn't this look like a last if you've ever seen any documentaries of how fine shoes are made? They're made on something like this. So it makes sense that this would be the technology 
old school as it may seem, traditional yes to adjust your shoes accordingly. You can go long by half a size, you can go wide by half a size. So if you're like, am I narrow, am I medium, am I wide? Oh wait, wait, I was a narrow, now I'm a medium. Wait, life has gotten in the way. Now I'm a wide. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're going to have a baby? Your feet go wide? Exactly. This all customized for you. Now, we can't make your shoe smaller. Right. But we can make them bigger and wider. And that's why, check out the reviews on hsn.com. It makes me so happy. All the people who got the two-way shoe stretchers, take them home and you start going through your entire closet. You start getting a lot more demanding and expecting mm -hmm. more of your shoes because you should. You should be comfortable. You can use these in a higher heel, in a nice low heel, in a flat. They are simple to put in and just get to that stretch zone, give it a couple more turns, and then let them sit. That's the key. Use, use the time. Be patient with them to get the perfect customer. Customized yeah, fit don't just rush for it. you. Don't rush it. Don't get overly exactly. enthusiastic. I've never overstretched a shoe. And by the way, cloth shoes, it's interesting, they really do wear differently than mm -hmm. leather. So if you buy the same shoe, one in cloth, one in leather, because you just love that style, they're probably going to fit differently. So you, right. you may really turn to this <laughs> as soon as you get those at home. It's weird because the cloth shoes seem to be smaller. You'd think that they would be larger. Anyway, you just go slow. I'm not talking about for three or four weeks. I'm talking right. about like for just overnight. overnight. That's it. Yeah, take That's your time. Take Don't your try time. to do it the day, day mm -hmm. of your event. Do it a couple days in advance so you can get that perfect, perfect fit. fit. Great gift. Mother's Day is coming up too. That's true. Buy her a pair of shoes and this at the same oh, time. What a nice or idea. A I love that. this at the <gasps> same time. I That's like a that great idea. idea. See? I hope Practical. my mom's not watching. She might know what she's yeah. getting. <laughs> I think she likes you more already. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a likable, Cindy. Thank you very much. Thanks as always. Thank you. So glad these are bad. It's back in stock. I don't know if you pulled the strings, but I'm glad you did. Okay, we're going to a spotlight because Tamara's going to talk.